Back here, Giacomo! Damn! Are you all right, Callus? We can't stay here. Yeah. Hold it right there. Don't let them escape. Ooh, we're not going to lead them right to Pololo. I guess we'll be safe here, at least for now. Emperor Geldeblame seems to be trying to revive an ancient cursed power. Is that what you were talking about in the forest? An evil god or something? Yes. Malpercio, malevolent god of old. They say his powers will cause the world's destruction. Have you ever heard of Malpercio? No, not really. I see. I came here from Mintaka, the Imperial capital. I learned that Emperor Geldeblame was pursuing some kind of dangerous scheme. I've been trying to find out what it is exactly. I managed to steal a pendant, which seems very important to them, and then I fled. From what I managed to gather, something terrible was sealed away, deep in that forest. It had never crossed my mind they were talking about Malpercio. Callus, I need your assistance. I must uncover the Emperor's plot and put an end to his ambitions. If the evil god Malpercio should be awakened, the world will be doomed. I can't do this alone. Please help me, Callus. You're asking the wrong guy. The Empire's plans? The fate of the world? I couldn't care less. Be realistic here, Shella. You alone against the might of the Empire? How are you gonna pull that off? I... don't know. You can't be serious. If you want someone to die a glorious death with you, look somewhere else. I won't be throwing my life away in a fight with the Empire. You can understand that, right? I mean, right now, all we know that we want to do is kill Giacomo, and currently he's in the Empire. So I say, if we're driven to kill Giacomo, might as well have someone along with us, kill the grunts on the way. You've got to be kidding me! Maybe you're crazy enough to listen to her, but I'm not. If we could warn Diadem and Anuanue and all the other nations of the Emperor's plot, I'm sure they would join us. You really believe that? That the lords and kings will listen to you and take up arms against the Empire? That they would actually risk the well-being of their nations on the words of a little girl? <sighs> Keep dreaming. Alone. Well, you can do what you want. It's your life, so you should take your own path, Sheila. I have some unfinished business to take care of. By the way, if I were you, I'd leave this island as soon as possible. 
Chances are you've already earned yourself a spot on the Empire's most wanted list. Not just me. I'm sure you're right up there on the list too, Callus. Besides, that man you're after, Giacomo, he's from the Empire too, isn't he? Oh yeah. Plot twist. Oh no, because that's pretty much literally all we know about him. You've got it mixed up. The bone I have to pick is the Giacomo. Not with the whole Empire. I'm not that stupid. Well, so long, Shella. Who knows? I might see you again. Sometime, somewhere. No, wait! You're leaving the island, right? The only way out is to take a liner to Diadem, the land of the clouds. We'll be taking the same ship, so we might as well stick together, at least for now. Don't really know why I'd want to, because Callus is a dickhead and a half. I guess he is good in a fight. I wonder if it's sensible to do another lap of the town. Part of me thinks I'll probably get caught. Let's see if anyone says anything different. Whoa, why are you sweating so heavily? Are you saying it's my fault? What's the matter with you? How annoying. Why don't you clean yourself up and wipe that sweat? This is Palaolo's secret hideout. Don't tell any grown-ups, okay? What a boy that Palolo is. When he plays tricks on people, he doesn't care who's around to see it. Oh, what a smart kid. I can't help being impressed with his wit and skill. Ah, it's on this again. It's clean now, but there are a few stains left. Ah, oh, yada yada yada. Oh, yogurts are here. Yogurts here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It wouldn't be too bright to go back into the mansion just yet. Ah, these bloody puzzles. Time sensitive. Squeak, squeak. Squeak. A dirty old man named... Oh, some of this is the same. And some of it has changed. We don't need to stick around here anymore now that Giacomo's gone. We should leave now before they notice us. Just going to check I'm recording the sound. Yeah, it's going fine. My sister serves as a maid in the Lord's Mansion. She says, uh, hmm, a lot of this is the same. And the only puzzle we've got left to do is the yogurt that I can't get to currently, and this bloody bluebird. Stupid fucking thing. That was going to drive me mad until the end of the game, probably. You got any new stock in? No. Now, have any of our photos developed? No, that must be as good as it gets. Which I'm going to say is again a bug.
Does the guy who tells us about the different islands have anything new to say? Well, he definitely doesn't. Dear Dem, the land of the clouds. Nashira, the fishing village. Excuse me, where could I catch a ride to the Empire? The Empire? You need to make your way down to the castle town. There's a large port there. Nashira here is just a small village, as you can see. The only ships around here are merchant ships flying in and out from Furkan. I see. Thanks. I'm headed for the castle too. I need to talk to the king. Which means we'll be traveling together a little longer. But Callus, before we set off, why don't we stop by the village? We might need a Magnus or two for the road. Yeah, good idea. If you want to go to the Empire, try going through the castle town. There's a big port there. The only ships that come to Nashira are merchants from Furkad. Yeah, I guess travelling within the island by ship is probably a waste of resources. This boat is going to the Sadal Sud frontier. Would you like to board? It wouldn't be such a good idea to go back to Sadal Sud right now. Plus, I'm in a hurry. There's no time for going back. Welcome travellers! This is Nashira the fishing village. Looks like you came from Sadal Sud on the liner. You crossed the Empire, didn't you? Ha ha ha, you don't need to hide it. A report came in from the dock saying, Be wary of travellers. That is... No, I'm not going to get myself in trouble. Oh, we haven't had many travellers of late. Most of them are just here for transit. They usually head right to Sheliak. As you can see, there aren't any tourist attractions here, but please make yourselves at home. The beautiful white pottery is adorned with a red stripe. Full of lager, then. Hello. Do I know you? I'm sorry, but uh, are you a friend of my husband's? My husband went on a picnic at the Cloud Passage with our sons. I think they'll be back soon. If you're in a hurry, you might be able to catch them at the Cloud Passage. This beautiful white pot... No, no that. We, the people of Nashira, have been fishing to sustain ourselves for as long as I can remember. Bringing in the day's catch, going home, eating what my wife makes for me. Day in, day out, same routine, different day. It may seem like a boring life to you, but for us, it's called peace. The people of Nashira are a part of Diadem's mighty kingdom. It, I'll take that pride with me when I go fishing tomorrow, and it will be with me when I go home. 
If you find my husband, could you please tell him to come home soon? Thank you. We've been having poor catches lately. At this time of the season, schools of sea bream are supposed to have come down from the lesser celestial river in the sea of clouds already. If this keeps up, we're all gonna starve. This place is a, a fish warehouse. When they catch fish, they store them here. But it's empty now. They're saying that nobody can catch fish anymore. Why, then the European Union? Suckers. These are water pitchers, a very simple yet heartwarming design. And we've got Fire Yell. This is salt made in the Shearer. It's stored in bags and stacked up high. Looks like we can trap the magnet essence of the salt. Yeah, if we've got a free thing, we'll have some salt. And thankfully, salt is a preservative, so it won't go off in five seconds. Hello, travellers. Is this your first time to Nashira? It's really peaceful and laid back here. I hope you enjoy your stay. Shame if he were to have an accident on that dock there. From the Empire, huh? I hope he's not looking for us. They couldn't be that quick, but we'd better be careful. Huh? What was or something? Being chased by the Empire? Sorry? No, no way. What gave you that idea? It's just that. We're not in very good terms with Imperial soldiers. Nothing serious. Hmm. Well, the girl behind it doesn't look like a bad person at all. Don't know about you, though. Damn, this kid is a sharp judge of character. And a bit about Imperial soldiers, we basically just told him that. Why is he looking for us? I mean, he couldn't be more obvious. Um, but it looks like this child's going to have to have an accident in the dock as well. Oh, he's gonna go tell tales on us. He's going. Push him in. Push him up. Push him off. The, push him off. No, don't give him your bloody real name, you bloody moron. Listen, whether you like it or not, you'll eventually run into the ambassador. He usually hangs around in this village. I have no idea why he even likes this place. He never seems to go back to the embassy in Shelyak either. Very suspicious. The Lesser Celestial River has flooded and we can't catch fish. Why do bad things always happen in groups? And there's nothing we can do to make it better. How can things get any worse? I guess two of your number could fall off a bridge. This is the port of Nishira, supposedly the most active part of the village. But the fish are gone, so it's been kind of quiet. The Sea of Clouds has been dead calm, and we haven't been able to catch anything at all. Maybe the fish have their own reasons for not biting. So, do you want to listen to an old man babble? Yeah, sure, you got a story, old man? Alright, listen up, young'uns. The way I figure, the world, the fish, and us have been maintaining a good balance. 
But even though today is just the same as yesterday, and tomorrow will probably be the same as today, there's no guarantee that disaster won't befall us at any time. There's a whole word out there, you know what I mean? What happened today just happened. No one knows what will happen tomorrow. Things happen when they happen. Wouldn't you agree, my young friends? I'll agree that that was babbling. But yes, you could all have a terrible accident. Make sure you tell everyone in town that there's a just a random possibility of accidents happening. And people falling into docks. If you're thinking of going to Sheliak, try going through the Cloud Passage to the east of the village. But I heard it's been flooded over, so you might not be able to get through. Great advice then, thank you. It's a big container with some traces of rust. You've obtained a Magnus Scale Shield. This is Sir Liud's boat. He said he came by boat because the river was flooded, so he couldn't come on foot. This boat is only for Sir Liud. It's only a one-man boat, so he won't let me get on it with him. Oh, that's no good for hijacking then. We'll just kill him and leave his boat. We can always give it to the girl. If you have nothing to say, just go away. Make sure you don't touch my butt. Boat. Strangers always bring bad luck. It's been like that for ages. Letting you on my boat is totally out of the question. I don't even want you near it. Our catch is bad enough even without your bad luck. Your presence would only make it worse. Jeez, that guy's asking to have a fucking accident as well. Hey, it's too calm. The sea of clouds looks much better when it's stormy. Fish flock to the surface when the rain is pouring and the wind is roaring. If the sea stays calm like this, fishermen like me won't be able to make a living. Oh, with Fire Burst level 2, we're racking them up here. The ambassador is about to come down here to do some maintenance on his sailboat. I think he might be out there right now. The Lesser Celestial River is flooded. As a result, he cannot pass through to the castle town. The Lesser Celestial River is flooded over. How frightening. I can't stand natural catastrophes. One can't help but feel helpless against them. It's not only that. I feel like the flooding is a bad omen. I hope something even worse doesn't happen. In times like these, I can't help but drink. Oh no, what a mess. Ugh. Looks like my route to Shelliac is blocked. I'd sure be nice if the water subsides soon. <gasps> I can't swim through the rapids while carrying these bags. King Ladakhan of Castle Elmus used to be called the White Flame. He did a lot of reckless things in his youth, but he's matured a great deal and has become a great king. If I was a little younger, I would definitely try to get to know him better. Whether business in this world is good or bad, it makes no difference whatsoever. How am I supposed to profess my love to my dear? Oh no, I'm not confident at all. Have some warrior's mementos. Ah, you're supposed to have mountain apple wine, but I don't have any. I replaced it with a pebble. Squeak. Hi there. Well, well, you two are new around here, aren't you? I'm Anna, owner of this humble establishment. Did you come in on the liner today? Yeah. Then you must be from Sadal Sud. That's quite a trip. Welcome to Nasharoth. There isn't much to see here, but it's a great place to relax. 
Actually, we don't have time to relax. We've got some business to take care of in the city. It's kind of urgent. Oh, really? You're out of luck, then. As you may have heard, the Lesser Celestial River is flooded. The road to the city has been cut off. The river rarely floods over. It's one of those freak things that hits once in a blue moon. If the road's cut off, maybe we could get there by boat. When does the next ship leave for the city? Hate to say this, but there's no regular ship to the city. You'll have to ask one of the fishermen to ferry you over. But it might not be easy. They don't like taking strangers on their ships. Besides, everyone's been pretty jumpy with the poor catch and all. Do you know anyone who would be willing to help us? We need to get to the capital as soon as possible. We'll pay for the ride, though we can't offer much. So you're in a hurry, huh? Let's see. You could ask Ibari. He, if anyone, might agree to help. Ibari? Where would we find him? He hasn't stopped by today. He should be along soon enough, though. Why don't you check back later? Or you could stick around and have a drink. <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks. We'll stop by later and see if he's here. Ooh, what a handsome young man. So different from the men in this village. Make yourself at home, cutie. The Empire already came to Sadal's suit. I heard an Imperial ship was in Furkat. That means they may come to this nation soon. Well, whatever happens, I don't really care. But the old folks don't like the Empire very much. To be honest, our generation doesn't worry too much about those kinds of things. I wonder if there's any benefit to talking to these things ever. It hasn't been so far. For us, following customs is very important. We're putting all our strength together and going fishing. Forget about strangers bringing bad luck or the lesser celestial river being flooded. The reality is we may not be able to feed ourselves soon. It's okay for now since we still have food in stock, but if the catches stay this bad, how am I supposed to feed my wife and kids? Mountain apple wine is in the barrel. The lid of the barrel is open, but it's not good to steal. Oh. I happen to know where we can get some, but... There's kind of an army in the way. Well, I think we talked to everyone then. In this... Oh no, we haven't. I haven't been in this building. Giacomo. We get five grand for that. I wonder if it's going to develop any further. It's been 20 minutes, so I'm going to say no. Well, that was bloody worth it. Ah, that's... Well, that's level two. We've got lots of level ones, so level twos are def excuse me, definitely good. That's just another health item. I'm sure we'll get plenty of those. That's for me. How do I compare to what I've got? Don't know. Ah, you can see it there. Looks like that's not a one-time thing. Looks like that's over and over again. 
The sun he keeps for ages, so it'll probably be quite well preserved. I think we'll leave all those bits for now. Oops, I meant to rest. See, here, like the D-pad works in the shop, but it doesn't work on this menu. Why? I think that is a reasonable place to end the episode. We'll go back in the pub and we'll trigger the next part of the game. Thank you for watching. I don't think we have any business at the church. I, I'm sure I had like 128 meg safe card somewhere. Maybe I'll have a hunt around for that. Thank you for watching. Come back for the next part of Batankaitos.